Well, I came home today from the main yard with five queens that I took out of the other minis. And the first thing I want to do is go over this drone layer, uh, sorry, laying worker one, and see how they react to a queen, whether I can put one in there. See how they react to a queen. This is brood that I added this frame I've got in my hand. And they haven't made a queen cell. Don't know why they wouldn't have just made a queen cell on that. And here's another one that I've added. And no queen cell. And I think I've got no choice but to give it a go with this queen. And sit her in here and let them have her and see what they do. So that'll be interesting, whether they accept her or kill her. Next thing I want to do is, I think this nuke's got an emergency made queen and she's a little runty thing and I'm a bit tempted just to replace her with one of these better queens that I've got. I'll see if I can find her. Hopefully on this comb. Yeah, there she is. She's just a tiny little thing. I hate to kill queens, but she's just not up to scratch, I'm afraid. So she's gone. So I've got a caged queen here from today. So this turns out okay. In this segment, with the remaining three queens, I'm starting three new mini nukes from scratch. So this is what I do, take a scoop of bees out of my bulk bee bucket. I've already got the queen hanging in there. Quickly put the, the mats on and, and I've already got feed in the feeder. So that's ready to go in position now. The second one, I've actually got a couple of pieces of 
depth comb in this one already. And a few bees clinging or attending to the queen as well. I'm just spraying the bees down with a little bit of water so they don't fly. Take a scoop of bees out of there. And have the mat ready. Tip the bees in there and, and trap them in there with the mat. And then just gently push them down through the top bars. And there the queen and the feeds in there ready, so they're ready to go in position on a stand. This one is just showing you the rest of the bees in the bucket there. Just tap them down. I've actually taken the top bars out of this nuke to make it easier to get the bees in there. And I've wet them down pretty well so they're not flying at all. So I've got time here. I can put everything in position and those bees aren't flying out. If they fly out, they just tend to fly around the yard and end up in a, another nuke. So just put a bit of feed in the feeder. I'll just put a little bit on the, the bees there as they're on the floor. And, just to encourage them to clean each other off. Decided to put a few more little sticks in there. I like a nice little stick that'll go up and touch the top bar so the bees can crawl up and down the stick. And then put it all together. Trying not to squash any. I just put a stick there in that last position so they don't creep out the little hole on the side wall there. But these new ones have got the entrances open so the bees can come out but the mated queen in there should hold hold them just in. Check back on that queen in the main worker. paying attention to her but they're not clinging and stinging the cage so it looks okay for now but, but yeah who knows how it's going to turn out I'll have to keep a close eye on it so it's about 10-15 minutes after I made up those minis so just check what's going on That looks pretty good. I've put it next to this other one, which is queen right, so hopefully they not too many drift, but you know, there's a mated queen in, in this new one, so they should stick to it, I think, pretty well. These are the other two. Um, yeah, they're fanning at the door, so that looks pretty normal. It's actually a squashed one there and, and there, so. Just count them. But these ones, um, you know, I think I put a bit too much water on them, and maybe, yeah, I dribbled a bit of syrup on them. Maybe that was the wrong thing to do. But um, there's still plenty in there. This is only, you know, 50 bees or something, so that's not the end of the world. Anyway, thanks for watching.